Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to use the installation assistant to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2 from version 23H2, 22H2, the original version of Windows 11 or Windows 10. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Windows 10 setup, but the steps are exactly the same if you have an older version of Windows 11. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 already installed on the computer, stop right here and use the Windows update settings because you don't have to go through the process of reinstallation because the update to version 25H2, it's just a tiny update that installs as a regular update. Also, Microsoft recommends to upgrade using the Windows update settings regardless of the version of the operating system installed on your computer. And if you don't see the option to upgrade, the new version might not be ready for your device. And installing version 25H2 can cause issues. Also, create a full backup before proceeding. Okay, to use the installation assistant to upgrade to version 25H2, do this. Open the official Microsoft download page using this link. Then, under Windows 11 installation assistant, just click the download button and save the file to your computer. Then, open the location where you save the file close all running applications and then just double click the windows 11 installation assistant that exe file to launch the setup and now simply click the accept and install button now the installation assistant is going to download the required files for version 25 h2 and it's going to proceed with the upgrade process and when the computer is ready, you will need to restart to apply the new version. This might take some time depending on your internet connection and the hardware on your computer. And yes, you can continue using your computer while the tool process the upgrade process. Now the installation media is going to proceed with installation of version 25H2 on the computer. And now you just need to click the restart button to apply the new version of the operating system on your computer. And that's it. We just completed the upgrade process, in this case from Windows 10. But like I said before, you can use the installation assistant to upgrade from Windows 11 version 23H2, 22H2, and the original release, the 21H2. You will also notice that in the past, we used to get a thank you notification from the installation assistant, letting you know that the upgrade has completed successfully. But now we get this page that opens automatically with Microsoft Edge. Now we can confirm the version of Windows installed on the computer by going to start and then going to the settings app. And then we can go to system and then on the about page, we can see that we're running version 25 H2. Now, if for some reason the new version of the operating system is causing issues, you can go to system and then from the recovery page, you can click this button right here and you have up to 10 days in order to use the rollback option. So this feature will help you to uninstall in this case, version 25H2 and revert back to Windows 10 or another older version of Windows 11, depending on what you had installed on the computer. And then to complete the process, you just need to click next, click the now thanks button, read the details that you need to know before rolling back to the previous version, click next, make sure that you know your password from the previous installation and click next. And then in this case, just click the button right here to uninstall version 25H2 from your computer. I don't need to roll back, so I'm just going to click cancel. Now, once you know that the operating system is working correctly, one thing that you want to do is just to open the storage page. And from here, you want to go to temporary files. After the scan has been completed, you will notice the previous Windows installation item, and that's the files that the computer backed up before upgrading to the new version. So basically you can use these files to roll back to the previous version, but if you want to free up a space immediately, you can check this option right here and then just click the remote files button. And that will free up in this case, almost 34 gigabytes. And that's it, those are the steps to use the installation assistant tool to upgrade virtually any supported version of Windows to version 25H2. Remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.